Yo, what's up guys? So welcome back to another video. So this is a follow-up video from the FT mode challenge um, that I was doing that I mentioned in the last video. Um, so as you know, I recorded last week of trading. Um, it ended on Thursday because I said there wouldn't be no trades on Friday because my closest pending on Thursday was like 100 pips away. So it was very unlikely to get a trade. But I ended up getting triggered into two trades on Friday. So I'm going to run over what happened with that. And uh, I might have messed up the FTMO challenge. So technically I didn't really mess it up because there were two really good setups. And um, obviously you still got the like 20-30% chance of losing. And they ended up both losing which is quite unfortunate. Because I was up 5%. I risked two and a half grand on each trade. So now I'm pretty much back to break even. But I will get that retake. But let me just run over guys what happened. So we had New Zealand dollar CAD with the 38 fib with this inner trend line as well and the 50 EMA you had the round number as well just below so yeah I had a 35 pip stop loss and you can see it just triggered us out with the spread so yeah that was the first loss uh, really good setup so weekly setup third touch trend line 38 fib 50 EMA and the round number, so like three confluences. But yeah, ended up stopping out, so two and a half grand loss on that one. The other one was Euro Yen. I've literally been looking at this setup for about three months, I believe. Um, so yeah, waiting three months just to get stopped out, so that's ideal. So we had the 38 major fib. I believe we had the 800 EMA as well, right on this 38 fib. So yeah, you can see we have the 800 EMA right on this 38 fib on the weekly time frame. As you can see there, we had the 200 EMA just above as well. And if you go on to the monthly, you can see we had both the 100 and the 200 EMAs as well just above. But obviously, it doesn't matter how good the setup is. Like I say, you still got that 20-30% chance of losing, um, which obviously the probability has played out against me these two times. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm still glad that I took these setups and I'll take them again. So took these two trades on Friday, um, both lost, back to break even now on the FTMO, as you can see here, lovely equity curve right there, I would refresh it but there's no point is it. So yeah, we're at 200 up, um, this ends on the 18th of March, I'm not going to trade this now, I'm just going to leave it 5th of March today, so I've got like a few weeks now, or two and a half weeks or so, uh, I won't be trading this account, I'm just going to wait for the retake and get a free retake because it's kind of pointless now like trying to get the 10 percent when i've only got like two and a half weeks why make it harder for myself i might as well wait um i still got the live accounts anyway so it doesn't really matter to me um i'm gonna wait and then get like a full month but yeah that's it guys you can't win them all can you uh still got the free live accounts hoping for a fourth but yeah it's not going to make it easy for me this time but we'll go again do the retake and hopefully pass it but yeah, I thought I'd update you. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. I'm going to do a full week of trading again soon. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit different now. I'm going to record everything on Friday. So that saves me recording every single day throughout the week. And then if it comes to Friday and I've taken no trades, then I've just recorded the whole week. Like, took quite a lot of time to record it and edit it. And um, yeah, it'd be pointless because I didn't take no trades. So it's better just to wait till Friday. Uh, collect all the trades i'll screenshot every single day so you know i'm not like making it up and yeah if we get like a decent amount of trades uh win or loss i'll post it up and uh, yeah we'll go from there but yeah appreciate it guys thanks for watching